what is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get home screen creator on iOS 15. Uh, this is a really cool shortcut that's gonna allow you to make your home screen look super custom and actually pretty 3D looking as well, depending on how you set it up. Now I've covered home screen creator in the past, I covered it on iOS 14, but it's seen quite a few updates since then. So I figured a refreshed video would be good and it's definitely an awesome shortcut to have on your iPhone on iOS 15 for anybody that's into making their iPhone look custom on iOS 15. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and jump to this website here. I will leave the link for it down in the description. There's a few other cool shortcuts and stuff you can find on this website. I'll probably cover more of this in later videos, but what we're looking at here is home screen creator. You can click on the read more button here and it tells you its features. It allows you to hide the notch. You can mask wallpapers. There's three themes to choose from. Style the dock, add icon shadows, widget shadows, and you can also build and save the layouts now, which I thought was really cool. <clears throat> and you can see here requirements, iOS 15.1 plus. Um, just take note, I'm on iOS 15.0.1 and it still works for me, but it is meant for 15.1 and newer. So we're just gonna click on the download button here and we're gonna download and add the shortcut just by clicking that button there. So now we have the shortcut and now we can run the shortcut. And any pop-ups, just click on okay. And now we're gonna choose which device we have. I'm gonna choose 12 Pro Max because that's the iPhone that I have. Now we can choose, uh, or that, yes, we'll click okay. I'm sure that's what I want. Now we need to download the content. We'll click on allow and just wait for it to download. Content has been downloaded. Uh, this shortcut will now exit and open your files app. Navigate to the shortcuts. We have to unzip it, so we'll just click on OK. And you can see here is the new folder, uh, HSC, which is Home Screen Creator. So go in there, and now you can see the content zip. So just click on the zip file to unzip it. And it's a pretty big file, so it does take a few seconds here for it to fully unzip. And once it does that, we can go ahead and delete the .zip file because we no longer need it, but just wait until it has finished before you do that. Okay, and it has finished, so now I'm gonna go ahead and delete the zip. And now we're ready to begin. This is really cool how it works. So now that you have that unzipped and ready to go, we can go ahead and jump back into the shortcuts application and we can run the shortcut. Okay, so now building a layout. So yes, add elements. I'm gonna build shadows beneath my icons on my home screen. So firstly, we're gonna navigate to the shortcuts folder and then to home screen creator HSC. And then we're gonna go into content and I'm gonna go into icons. This is where the different kind of like shadows and different effects can be found. And I will do, um, maybe I'll do shadows depths long. And then you can see here's kind of the different grid layouts of the shadows on how you wanna build it. Now I have to build this in a certain way because I do have widgets on my home screen as well and I want those to have their own shadow. So to start, I'm gonna start from the upper left. We're gonna have block one, so I'm gonna add that. It gives you a little preview there. I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. Now I'm gonna add another layer and I'm gonna say yes. And my middle row is full, so double row two is the next layer I'm going to add. And you can see there. And then I have a widget down here as well, but I need the four icon shadows there. So we're gonna go ahead and add that layer to it as well and that's going to be block six. So now we have all of the icon shadows set up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on done, and now I'm gonna add more layers for the widgets. So for the widgets, I'm gonna back out of the icons, go into widgets, and I was doing the uh, shadows far, I believe it was. And you can see here are our widget options now. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one. So there's a shadow for that widget. And I'm gonna add the last widget now, which would be this one here in the lower left. 
So now I have built all of the shadows for my icons and widgets for my home screen. Of course, you can do this however you want. That's the beauty of this shortcut. You can add whatever shadows you want, whatever effects, what kind of dock, whatever you want. It's up to you to kind of dig through this shortcut to see everything it offers because I can't show everything it offers in one video because this would be a half hour long video. Uh, and now I'm gonna say no to add another layer and I'm gonna go ahead and name this layout. I'm just gonna say layout new. It's very cool that you can save the layout. So if you wanna switch your wallpaper quickly and add the layer, you can do that. So the layout has been saved. We'll click on okay. We'll click done here. It'll give us another preview. Now we can choose the wallpaper we wanna use. And I'm just gonna choose this light colored one just because you guys will be able to see the shadows on it. Now at this point, we can mask the wallpaper to have kind of a card effect, a card dock, or we can hide the notch. I'm not gonna do any of those. Uh, if you guys wanna check those out, just try out the shortcut yourselves. And then it shows us the wallpaper and then it should show us the wallpaper with the shadows. So there you go, that's pr pretty cool looking. Let's click on done. And now we can set the wallpaper from here, save it, save file, set wallpaper and save file, so on and so forth. I'm just gonna do save photo and I'll manually change it so you guys can see the difference. And I wonder if we got the iOS 15 shortcuts progress bug i'm assuming we did sometimes this doesn't show that it's completed and that's just a bug in ios but if we exit out of the shortcuts uh, application now you can take a look and see what my home screen looks like without the shadows but if i go into photos now and i go ahead and i select on the one i created i can use this as my wallpaper pinch it to zoom make sure that perspective zoom is off as well because that'll throw off the grid so make sure that's off and then just pinch it all the way out and then just click set and we'll set it for specifically the home screen. And now when I exit, you guys will see how 3D that looks. It looks really freaking cool and it's just awesome. The different things you can come up with with this one shortcut to really make your iPhone look 3D and have other really cool looking effects. So it's just kind of a quick rundown of home screen creator. Definitely an awesome shortcut to have on iOS 15 if you guys are looking to make your iPhone look custom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. Again, I'll leave all the links for everything you'll need in the description. Also the link to the Twitter handle of the creator of this wallpaper. He definitely has some pretty cool wallpapers available. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.